Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about flow control within the Surface Filler tool. So the Surface Filler tool is one of the most used tools in Autodesk Alias, and it exists under Surfaces and Surface Filler over here. If you click, uh, double click on it, you'll get the options box like this. Now, with the update in 2023 or later, uh, you get an option called Auto. Of course, that there are several other options as well, so let's go through them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, change this to Chord. It's going to be G2, and I'm going to set the quarter length. I think 10 should be good for the form factor. I'm going to set it to 1 uh, so that it's a little bit more um, clear to see. And for these ones, I'm just going to set it to Auto for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a surface villa all the way through in uh, on these four surfaces. Now, traditionally, I believe the default is set to, well, default. And if you look at this, I'm just going to set everything to default and I'm going to set out to update. And this is what you get. Now, essentially, what default does is I believe it is a normal direction or basically perpendicular to the surface edges. So basically, you'll get a surface patch like this, which is a little bit different than what you saw. Now, because it is set to default, you'll see that this one is almost perpendicular to this edge, but it doesn't go all the way through. Uh, now, there are many good uses for default, but it is not the common one. The I would say the most commonly used one is probably edge line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the start to edge align. Now you can also do this in here or you can also click through these, uh, this one over here. So let me just click through and I'm just going to set it to edge align. Now as the name suggests, what edge align does is uh, it makes the CV structure of the end curvature to the edges that it's aligned to. Now this is a little bit different to connect. So I'm going to show you guys an example over here. I think this might be a little bit better one to show. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the surface filler run through here and I'm just going to have it exactly the same. And as you can see with the edge line, you'll see that the CV structure go like this. So basically it is curvature to these edges that it's aligned to and you'll see that there's a nice CV flow like this. And because it is going all the way through, it automatically trims as well. Now let's go back to default and you'll see that it's like this. Now with the extend, it also retains the perpendicular uh, relationship between the surface fillet edge and also the surface is aligned to. However, it just extends it all the way through and actually allows you to trim. Uh, compared to the default, as you can see, it uh, stops right here, but with the extend, it goes all the way to the edge of the longer surface. Now, similar to edge align, there's always uh, there's also connect. Now, this one is a little bit different because now it's a straight edge. It's not perpendicular to the surface it's aligned to. It's not curvature aligned, but it just connects uh, basically in a linear fashion from one surface edge to the other. So that's also another option to use. Now. Those are the edges uh, or the start and end alignment. But uh, with the update, well, of course, there's auto. Um, there's also interior alignment that you can choose. Now, interior is um, you can only choose interior when you have multiple surfaces that you're uh, putting surface fillet on. So let me show you. So I'm just going to undo and I'm just going to put a surface fill all the way through like this. And in order to trim it, I'm just going to say edge align over here and you can also determine the interior alignment. So what you can do is you can use edge align, which will allow you to basically have the same thing over here in the interior edges. So right now, because I set it to interior, uh, interior edge alignment uh, with the flow control, you'll see that this one is curvature aligned nicely to this one. Now you can always set to connect like this and it's just going to create a straight edge from one uh, one end to the other. And of course there is user defined. Now with the user defined, uh, there are several options. So right now it's set to edge align, but you can uh, set to C. Actually, you know what, for this one, let's uh, refer to alias 2023 help. So it basically, if you go under the surface fill tool like this, so surfaces, multi-surface fillet, surface fillet, and you go down, it's going to give you an, uh, well, basically an explanation of all the flow control. So with uh, the default, basically that's how it's shaped with the extend, 
Like, uh, it extends all the way through, edge align, and connect. Now, with the interior though, there are a couple of different options. So with the C that is connect, E stands for edge align, uh, D for default, T align, that's something a little bit different. So I'm going to show that to you. Let me just go through all the options. So with the C, as you can see over here, it just does a connect. With the T, you'll notice that it's, uh, well, basically it's slight edge align, except it creates two edges. So basically what it does is, let's say, I'm just going actually going to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a surface filler between here like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say default for now. And what it does is with the T, it, it, uh, it essentially edge aligns to this edge, but it comes out in a situation where there is no edge on the other opposite, uh, other surface. So if you look at this one, it's kind of like edge line. So I wonder if there's a better way to show this. So, so let's do this. So let me just put a surface filler all the way through. And let's let it fill it. So as you can see, it's like edge line. I think this might be a good, uh, good one to show. So let's see if I can do T. So with this one, you'll notice that now, with this one, if you click on this one, what it's going to do is it's going to connect this ends together. But right now, what the uh, what the tool is assuming is that it it assumes that there is one edge over here, but there's no uh, like an edge that it's aligning to. So with the T, what it does is it edge aligns one edge and it just aligns as well aligns to the other like this. Now this can be very beneficial in some ways, but in this case, of course, you want to click on this and you just want to do an edge align so that it's just one smooth al alignment from here to here. Now, of course, depending on the situation, it might create a, a multiple spans, but for the purpose of this, uh, yeah, I think sometimes, well, it can be very beneficial. All right, so there's uh, T, so I'm just going to go back over here just so that it, uh, it's a little bit faster. So, okay, so there's connect, there's edge align, there's T, and there's default. So you can choose which one you uh, want to use. And of course, you want uh, if you want to uh, want these to connect, you can always use this one, and it'll edge align nicely like this. All right, um, so that is how to use the flow control within the Surface Filler tool. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. Want to learn Autodesk Alias and Digital Sculpting? Then become a member at 3ddesignacademy.com where you'll find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics, including curve creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to Class A modeling of the entire car exterior. Interested? Visit 3ddesignacademy.com.